Hello everyone and welcome back to another day of completing an entire Sims generational legacy challenge all in one go. And this of course is the Disney Princess Edition. This is the challenge that everyone seemed to like a little bit more between the two. So this is what we're going with and oh how cute we're thinking about our brother. But this is our Cinderella Sim. This is Ash Grimm, daughter of Snow White, Fiona, and Lou Howell. So let's jump right into what this challenge is and what we're doing today. Cause this, this is a speed run. We don't got a moment to spare. So generation two, Cinderella, a dream is a wish your heart makes when you're fast asleep. Although you had six brothers and sisters, you always did the cooking and the cleaning, yet somehow you loved it as it transported you away from your chaotic home life. When Cinderella becomes a teenager, this story begins, and we did start as a teenager, though now we are about almost halfway to aging up into an adult. So the rules for this generation say we have to complete our childhood and adult aspirations. We already have the childhood aspiration down, so we have a good start. We must have the neat and foodie traits, which we do. We must clean the house every day and cook every meal. We must meet our spouse at a party or an event, but we cannot marry them until our mother dies. We also have a maximum of three children that we can have. And of course, the first girl that we have will be our next heir to the Tiana generation. So speaking of that, I think I forgot to mention it last time, but if you have any Sims, Prince Charmings, Princess Charmings that you would like for me to potentially use for one of the future generations, just use my hashtag Sims in the Sims 4 gallery. That is where I look for any new Sims. And I was actually really excited excited because I had two new Sims added uh, as potential partners for Ash. So if we're lucky, we may actually see them around. But I have a mod downloaded by Little Miss Sam. It is the chores mod. I'm going to go ahead and do that right now so I don't forget. But since we have a requirement that we have to cook and clean every single day, I'm going to set a chores schedule. So here we go. Add a cleaning schedule for Ash. And we're going to do every... <laughs> every single day. And yeah, I think that'll be good. But if you noticed, uh, we are currently living on our own. We moved out to San Myshuno. That's going to give us uh, a higher chance of, you know, encountering other Sims. We have the festivals out here and everything. But our family had seven children. And while we did pretty good for ourselves there, um, you know, money split seven ways doesn't go too far. So we basically have our furniture that we had in our childhood room and then 59 simoleons to our name. So with that, we are going to find a job. And there's no requirement for which one we have to do. But I'm going to go with freelancer because I want our schedules to be relatively open. And since our aspiration is a writing aspiration, we're just going to be a freelance writer, you know? And we already have some books, some little short stories. So we'll go ahead and publish those, see if we can get some residuals. And hey, look at that. We got nominated for something. Feeling pretty good about that. Let's go ahead and cook ourselves just a nice fancy meal because we do have to cook every single meal. That also means if we're going to any of these festivals, we can't order any food. Everything has to be home cooked. And then let's see what kind of gigs we can do. We do have level 10, so I think we can do a lot of these. But I'm going to start kind of midway, writing level 5. We have to chat with the client, write a nonfiction book, and get the book approved. Nice. Okay, that part is done. Now we just have to write an entire book and hopefully get it approved. And to help us out, I am going to put on some lot traits. And that's nice. We have a quiet as our default. So home studio, writing can come out better quality. I also added peace and quiet so tense moods can go away a little faster. And then actually what I want to get is creative visionary so we have a higher chance of painting or writing master works so that's 2000 points which is about what we had so that will hopefully help us out a little bit here and all emmy congratulating us on our job how sweet i'm so glad that we like all our siblings though i think we we do have a favorite with audrey just looking at everything whoa this lady literally just walked into our apartment who even are you 
Okay, this this complex may be quiet, but your neighbors are literally just walking into your apartment. So I don't really know if that's a great trade-off. Our energy just got into the yellow, but we're almost done. So I wonder if we may actually finish this all in one go. That would be awesome. Mostly because we only have like 37 simoleons to our name now. Oh, we stopped right before we finished. But okay, Ash needs to unblock her inner rider in order to do this. Go find something fun to do for a while. Ugh, fine. Honestly, let's just take a little bubble bath and go to bed. We can finish it in the morning. But yeah, there's our little rider's block. You know, from riding, you've hit the wall hard. Take a break, relax, and those creative juices will start to flow again. Okay, we're feeling, feeling pretty good, and it looks like it's Harvest Fest as well. But all right, getting our little morning cleaning taken care of. Let's take care of these gnomes so we can get through this holiday. Give this little guy a toy. He liked that. And these ones like coffee. And there we go. Done. And then we should be able to finish up this book here soon. Heck yeah. All right. So now locate the book in Ash's inventory, submit it to the client for approval, send a client. Awesome. Okay. Ash took notes, writing down the events of the Guru's experiences and thoughts on inner peace. A little bit of enlightenment must have rubbed off on her because the client was very happy with the results. Oh, okay. Exactly what they were looking for. Keep up the great work. Well, that's great, because now we can actually afford a little bit of a bigger table. I'm going to keep the chairs because we don't want to lose money. But we could do a little Harvest Fest with the family because we are a people person and we're also a family sim, you know? And I'm kind of liking the look of all the, the growing together stuff. So we'll get that for our couch. But I don't really know if we could afford like a TV and stuff yet. So I'll just get other things that we don't need all while my dogs are playing games behind me. So you're going to hear them. But I feel like we should be used to that at this point. All right, that's starting to look like something. We'll put a TV there eventually. Oh man, our favorite part, putting up decorations we can't do in the apartments. Oh well. Let's maybe see if we can get another, maybe a higher paying gig. Ooh, a really important guy here. I need someone to write about me like a biography. I've done some cool stuff in my life and people really, really need to know about it. My accomplishments are many and numerous. So like, come and write about me. All right, my guy. But here we go. The true story of some guy's many and numerous achievements. I hope he likes it. Oh my goodness, mother. We've been thinking about trying for a baby lately. Do you think we should do it? We want to, but we're not sure. It's a huge responsibility. What do you think? I don't think that's a good idea. You think so? I guess you're right. Thanks for giving me a reality check. Yeah, no problem, mom. You are an elder and I'm kind of honestly waiting for you to pass away at this point. Not because I want to, but because the challenge says I can't find my love until then. So I'm going to plan a little dinner party and we'll do a nice nice little, little harvest fest get together just with the family let's say four o'clock ah dang it we got the writer's block again oh that's fine that's fine maybe we'll get started on our our grand meal we do have a vegetarian in the family so let's do the tofurkey dinner Ooh, gnomes y'all are so messy Oop, let's get started and okay the only tv we could afford right now is this little box that's fine but that way people can be at least a little entertained Ooh, we're feeling a little tense the stressies from the strict family dynamic. We still have our writer's block and oh, what are they talking about? We're feeling paranoid. Our poor little paranoid gal. And all right, calling everyone to the grand meal. Literally just find a seat anywhere you can. All right, level three charisma, level four charisma, five charisma. And we have a fancy coffee maker and a pot rack as a reward. That's pretty cool. All right, thanks family. Gonna clean up now. That's my, my job. Just leaving your plates on the floor. That's fine. Ah, oh, reminds me of home. But we are feeling pretty tired. Honestly, let's bust out this, uh, this coffee pot that we just got as a reward. Okay, still a bit tired, but hopefully enough to finish this book. Because I want to get paid. Heck yeah, done. Ooh, and it's excellent quality. Let's send for approval. <gasps> Fingers crossed. Yes. Ash really captured what makes the client important and great. 
He can't wait for the world to find out about how awesome he is at the thing that he was so important at. He'll definitely keep Ash Grimm in mind for a follow-up book about the next fantastic thing he does. And Harvest Fest went well. All right, up on our little cleaning schedule, feeling flirty. Let's resume writing our little romance novel. You know, it's our little passion project. And then I'm honestly just selling these seed packets. Like, yeah, definitely. All this apartment's gonna look so cute here soon. Ah, uh, heck yeah, royalty report. And we finished our romance novel. What an achievement. We finished writing an entire book and we only have to pee really, really, really bad. Oh, cool. Excellent quality. That should hopefully get us some good royalties. Let's get rid of these gnomes too. And then honestly, let's celebrate by getting some new furniture. All right, look at it. So pretty. The main overhaul, of course, was in the living space, but we're slowly filling out the rest of these areas. And I'm thinking this will probably eventually be the kids room. We'll figure it out. But we're out here making friends. Let's help them fix a bad relationship with Wolfgang. And ah, uh, yeah, we'll talk to Felix. But we did unfortunately spend all of our money and we will have rent due here shortly. So let's grab this brand new fantasy story idea and then chat with the client. And oh man, we're feeling a little tense because the client was kind of rude. Well, that's a bummer. Oh my gosh, the default name for this book was the Werewolf Journals. I feel like we're referencing all of our siblings' uh, private diaries for this one. That's a little sus, girl. May get some backlash for that. Ooh, the Spice Festival's in town. And I want to say it's in... Is it in our neighborhood? I'm not sure. But this is a place where we could potentially, potentially meet our future spouse. Ah, oh, we just got here and our dad's calling about a promotion. Yeah, go for it. I'm just harvesting the free plants because poor city girls got to make do. Okay, so we scoped the area. We see some people who sparked some interest. This girl is is not picky though, but I don't think I'm going to go for any of the Sims here. Maybe we'll make some friends uh, and feel a little paranoid about what they think about us. But I'm trying to think ahead a little bit for the next generation. Because I'll say right now, like each generation, generation is of course inspired by the Disney princesses and the movies, but they are not the Disney princesses themselves. And by that, I mean, they're definitely going to look a little bit different. I'll try to, I'll try to like, obviously keep the same vibes. Like, you know, obviously for Cinderella, we got a little bit more blonde over time, but I don't want to too heavily like change the genetics because part of the fun of the Sims is just seeing what happens with the with the genetics over time, but I will do my best to like choose partners that get us a little bit closer to matching what the next Disney princess is supposed to look like. So that means for Ash, I am looking for a Sim with a darker complexion and hopefully some African-American features. So I'm honestly kind of hoping that I run into the Sims that you guys created because both of them, you know, actually meet those criteria. So. But ooh, we are looking super beat. So while the town is very lively right now, we're not not really seeing anyone we want to go after just yet. All right, up bright and early, doing our morning clean. And then we really got to resume our job because we only have those 52 simoleons. Aw, Felix adopted a cat. I'm very excited for him, but kind of worried about the cat because they're in a house with like three werewolves. Aw, boy. Boris. And he's wearing a little sweater. Ugh, love. All right, ask to be introduced to. Wait, who is this child? Like, who is this child? Um, where is this child? Oh my gosh, call him. Okay, uh, I guess there's some things going on at this house. Whose baby is this? Felix, is this your baby? Who are your parents? Call him as the father. Oh my gosh. Ooh, failed the introduction to the baby. Okay, abort. Not the baby, the introduction. Oh my gosh. That was a bad choice of words. But okay, um, Susie Sunflower. Wait, I think, I think I remember Felix calling about a date. Was that her? Who are you? Oh gosh, we do perceive her as attractive. Yeah. I, I think we're just, we're, we're on the hunt for, um, for our own relationship here, here soon. Probably sooner rather than later. But okay, Aspen, let's get to know you as well, I guess. And ooh, nice royalty report. But oh my gosh, that's so cute that they're, they're starting little families. Paulum has a baby, maybe girlfriend, but 
actual baby. And then Felix has a baby girlfriend and a, an actual baby, baby cat. So I do wonder what Diego's been up to. Okay, I legit just downloaded a house from the gallery that had enough bedrooms. It wasn't fully decorated, so I just made sure that everyone had a bed. And that's good enough for me. That's, that's my good deed for the day. Anyway, love you, family. See you later. Have fun with the baby. But okay, let's try this again. Finish writing. There is the festival of snow today, so maybe we get an invite there. And then also maybe we can come across uh, the sims that I downloaded to my game today. Magically. It's just Disney, Disney magic. Aw oh, man, computer. I mean, I guess we have been overworking it. Greetings, might I enter your residence and partake in some rousing intellectual pursuits with you? That is kind of worrying. Honestly though, why, why not? Again, our mother had a fear of, of older women, but we don't. I think we're hopeful that someone's just gonna play matchmaker with us. And yes, writing's magnificent. We like writing. And yay, good for you, dad. I knew you could do it. And if no one's gonna invite me to the Festival of Snow, I'll just take a flirty shower and go there myself. But here we are in the Festival of Snow. A lot of children around. And up here is this sim, Beth Hathaway. Oh my gosh, y'all. I am literally the worst at this. But I paused recording because my game started to freak out a little bit, but... We got to know Beth a little bit more. She's one of the Sims that you guys made. And then I think we got a little tired, grabbed a coffee from the vending machine and headed out. But we learned that she is loyal and a maker. But it was a nice, cute, casual meet. And who knows, maybe we'll see more of her. So far, we see her as a friend. We do have good compatibility and we do perceive her as extremely attractive, but we may think she likes nature a little too much. But we'll see. Only, only time will tell. And okay. Hey, new personality trait, Ash has been feeling really cheerful lately. Things are going well and Ash doesn't have a care in the world. It's a very Disney princess personality trait, so we'll we'll take it. Oh my gosh, we stayed up all night. We are exhausted, but we finished our excellent book and we got paid. Nice. Ooh, Ash has been recognized for her great performance and client satisfaction. All that typing, spell checking, and proofreading didn't let her down. In addition to raising her rate, Ash also received awards. Rewards. Ooh, so Supreme Freelancer Award, free roam portable computing device and increased pay on all gigs. Neat. And royalties. Nice. Oh my gosh. Ash Harjo asked you out on a date. Go for it, man. Okay, Festival of Youth. Probably gonna skip that one. But I think we also have the award ceremony thing tonight. So I think we'll get all of our needs to a good place and then skip forward to do that. But let's do our little round of cleaning everything. Hey, Felix is here. And Audrey's calling. Oh, that's cute. I love that. And I had to scroll down a bit, but it says, check out the next award ceremony Sunday at 7 p.m. Is that the Starlight Accolades or something else? I don't know, but let's let's take Felix, I guess, and we'll we'll find out. Ooh, for such riveting writing and storytelling, Ash Grimm won the Starlight Accolade for best book. If she accepts the award, you could find it in the Sims household inventory. Yo! I've never actually won anything at one of these before. I think there's something funny with the placement because I can't accept the award. Oh, because someone else is already getting theirs. Dancy land grab. You don't need an award, ma'am. Here we go. Oh, I'm so proud of her. She's come so far. Eldest paranoid daughter of Snow White. Oh my gosh, you guys. So at the bar, we came across this sim. And this is the other sim that I downloaded from the gallery. Drew Wit makes me laugh because it just sounds like I drew it, you know? But our first impressions are actually hilarious because Ash thinks that he is interesting and has a crush on him, but he thinks we're stuck up. Probably because we just won an award and we're thinking very highly of ourselves. Something about that is like extremely hilarious to me because that definitely means he has like, you know, a certain impression about us and what we're about, but that ain't us. But it's definitely an impactful first meeting. But oh man, do they like me too from interacting with your 
crush. And then we also have her little paranoid personality. Poor girl. But you know what? At the end of the day, she really has nothing to, to worry about because if anyone breaks her heart, she has three werewolf brothers and one werewolf father who will uh definitely take care of things for her. But okay, between our, our two potentials, we have Beth, who we do have amazing compatibility with. And then we have Drew, who I think we clicked with a little more easily and have a little flirtation with. And I don't know. I think we'll we'll have to win him over a little bit, make him realize that we're we're really not pretentious. We do come from humble beginnings. This was just our first big win, okay? And your girl needed a win. I say as if she hasn't been perfectly successful in her new life so far. But we've technically met both of them at an event, so it can honestly go either way. But I've added some cute little yoga things to this room. I really like the yoga skill. I think it's, or well, the wellness skill, but I think it's a nice alternative to the regular fitness skill, especially since it's kind of like blizzard outside. But I like when my sims stay active. Let's check for our next gig. We need more detective stories. All right. Level two wellness. We're feeling good. We'll chat with our client and get started in the morning. Because, ooh, yeah, that took a minute. It's like 3 a.m. Go get some sleep. I've destroyed your sleep schedule. Ooh, royalties. Awesome. Ooh, and we got our bills. Ugh, disgusting. But we can pay them, so we should do that right away. Do our little cleaning rounds. Luckily with just us, there isn't too much that honestly needs to be upkept. And hey, random high school friend I think we only talked with once. Yeah, you should go for it. All right, finished our book. Let's get that scent off. And I think that put us at the next level of our aspiration. So that's awesome. Ooh, we have to publish 10 of our own books. So I think we may be putting some of that freelancing on the side because we got to focus on our own. But awesome. It was approved. It's almost our birthday. <gasps> I wonder what that means for our parents. It's probably going to be soon. Well, let's see. Ooh, Winterfest birthday. All right, let's add an an event. Gotta invite the family and we will invite our two potential love interests, then Aspen and Susie and Edison. They'll probably be aged up by then. Yay, congrats Morpheus. You're doing good. Ooh, Audrey inviting us out. Yeah, let's let's bring these two. Oh, we're already here. This is in our neighborhood. And oh, everyone is just here. Okay. Well, let's all join one of these little sides. You guys are a little slow over there. And oh, we got a sentiment with our sister. That's cute. That's nice. Great reputation. Drew's family oriented. We just became good friends. Andy's ambitious. Okay. Andy's a goofball. That's cute. And Beth is a recycle disciple. Okay, so we know all of their traits now. Oh my gosh, he just tricked us with a hand buzzer. That's hilarious. But okay, recycle disciple, maker, loyal. And then she still has her impression about us, which is responsible. And okay, family oriented, goofball, ambitious. And then we still have the crush. He still thinks we're stuck up. So he shocks us. He's telling us, lighten up. It's the humor and hijinks festival. Well, that went over well. And oh my gosh, and then he scared us. Oh my gosh, we just shoved snow in his face. I love that. But ooh, okay, we are very hungry. Let's bring everyone back and, and go make some food. We had a nice, successful day with our sister and two new friends, maybe something more. Too early to tell. But I think that today is going to be a book writing day. Because I don't think we'll have any problem with the five excellent books. It's just the amount of time that they take. Which, you know, all things considered, Sims can basically write an entire book in a day. So maybe, maybe I should stop complaining. It's just the short lifespan that gets me, you know? Like, we gotta hustle. There's no time. Gotta go fast. And of course, Audrey, we will be your best friend. That's cute, but I didn't know that you were here. But our little Doc and Grumpy. Now please let me finish my book. Like, you can hang out, but I gotta write. Oh my gosh, okay. Keeping on theme with people just breaking into my house and asking me questions. You know what? Yeah, the game has chosen. So Drew, we're after you. Peaches. Yay, glad you had a good time, girl. Yay, we finished a book. And yeah, Felix will chat, let us go. Sell our book to a publisher. Ooh, and we got nominated for another award. Girl, you're on a roll. But okay, Audrey's headed out, which means we have some alone time. And oh, cute. Our first little kiss. I think we're gonna take it slow though. Tall tale for short adults. A story of the seven dwarves. 
And how did our dad hear about our boyfriend? That's kind of weird. I guess everyone will get to meet each other tomorrow for our birthday. Yay. Yeehaw, another book done. Let's quickly do a little cleaning. I don't know if we got the chance to do it today or not. And I was about to sell the publisher, but yeah, we will be self-assured that that is definitely us. And we have now re reached the maximum number of times that we can embrace a new trait from a self-discovery. All right. Ooh, one star celebrity. Cool. Okay, PN and clean in. There we are. Our needs are already pretty good, but it wouldn't hurt to top them off, make a grand breakfast. Ooh, those are some nice royalties. We'll have our birthday party here in a couple hours. So until then, we can start our next book Book at least. Let's start. Okay, we'll do a cute little blue confetti cake. All right, happy winter fest. Happy birthday to me and to Felix. But all right, happy birthday to us and the little Felix baby. We'll age you up as well. Yay, there they go. Adulthood, fulfilling dreams, planning for retirement, and midlife crises await. The perfect time to start wrapping up those lifelong goals. Thanks, fam. Ooh, girl, you need to calm down. Hysteria does not look good on you. Oh, little mistletoe kiss. So cute. Yay, birthday party complete. And everyone heads out immediately. Oh my gosh, Santa. Hey there. Remember when you gave me a present, but you didn't give any of my siblings a present? Yeah, that was pretty cool. How about another one? Aw, an avocado. Thanks. No, but really, what was it? London's Choice. Ooh, I think that's like an oven. That's actually pretty cool. Thanks, Santa. Ooh, gross. Just realized uh, the toddler must have eaten in my bedroom. Gross. But what a nice little winter fest. That will probably be like the last family gathering. I have a feeling that it's going to be soon for Fiona and Lou. Okay, up bright and early. Got all of our needs up. Doing our cleaning. And we can continue to write our book. Nice. One more book down. Let's publish. Oh, three down, seven more to go. Hey you, happy birthday. I'm sending you a little something I thought you might enjoy. Let's see each other again soon, okay? Aw, that's so freaking adorable. And the royalty report, amazing. And busted computer, less amazing. Aw, uh, poor Bella Goth. It's the end of an era. Nice, one more book down and published. And we got whatever the gift was. Oh, it's like a cute little potted plant. Big little potted plant. I'll find somewhere for you. Let's write a confident book just because we're we're feeling pretty good. But I added a couple more little decorations. Of course, had to add some pumpkins. And just, we have the money, so why not? Ooh, new quirk, refined palette. So this is because we've become a celebrity through our writing. So now as a celebrity, Ash has become accustomed to excellent quality meals, eating food that doesn't meet her lofty quality expectations will make her increasingly uncomfortable. Well, I mean, it's a good thing then that um we have such a high like cooking skill. So I think we'll be okay. But we're super duper inspired, so... <sighs> I'm gonna ride it out for as long as we have positive moodlets. Ah, heck yeah. So we wrote five excellent books. She's going to sleep. We'll publish it in the morning. That's fine. We're going for a nice little jog around the city. Oh gosh, who died? Who? Oh no! Hi, Ash. I'm calling to let you know that Fiona Grimm has passed away. I'm so sorry for your loss. <sighs> That probably means that Lou is gonna happen here soon as well. Oh, yep, there, there he is. Lou Grimm has died and passed a portion of their household funds to their children. Oh gosh, both of them in one day. You know what? I, I feel like it was bound to happen that way. They they were soulmates and they waited so long to be together. I, I don't think that, uh, you know, that Lou would have wanted to be around too much longer without Fiona. And I know now that we can technically get married. 
now that our, our mother has passed away, but I'm kind of sad. So let's write a sad book. And aw, Audrey's wanting to try a new job now. She's probably wanting a distraction. Girl, yeah, I think you've been working at a coffee shop since uh you turned into a young adult, so. And the twins are probably adults now. No, still young adults. They're about to be adults, though. They have one more day. That means we probably should get on the next generation here soon. Because I like it when they're able to, like, meet their grandkids and stuff, you know? Oh my gosh. Hey, Ash, you sound really down. Come over and I'll cheer you up. We had just sent him a sad text and now he's inviting us over. Yeah, let's go. Even though I was just making food, it's okay. I think since we're still really hungry, I'm going to get the always welcome traits because that will allow us to cook, shower, sleep at other people's homes without having to worry about them uh, thinking that we're being inappropriate. Aw, he's also really sad. Why are you sad, dude? Aw, sentiment gained. It's been wonderful to spend time with you. We've made some great memories and we'll make many more, I'm sure of it. Yeah, maybe the two of them can be sad together. All right, level two gourmet cooking. We went back home and um, yeah, we like jazz music. And why is there a vampire in our hallway? Sir. Get out of here. What the heck, man? Okay, doing a little cleaning because the counter actually got dirty. Terrible. Awful. How dare. But look at that. He's happy now. We're feeling inspired. We're still sad. We'll continue to be a little sad in the background for the next two days. We're giving him a little apartment key. We want to see him over here a little bit more. You know, we're feeling very close and very connected. Like, I don't know how well it's going to work out for our little paranoid gal, but um, sometimes you got to try to expand your, your comfort limits, you know? You gotta trust people. But oh my gosh, it's a miracle. Okay, I thought it disappeared, but we just have so many other positive moodlets that it's like at the very tail end. But that's good. So we're inspired. We'll continue writing our little book. And honestly, let's adjust our club people, get him added in. Awesome. Okay, that's good. And then let's start a little gathering. There we go. Now he can't leave. Haha. <laughs> but this way, we should also be able to, uh, you know, rally the troops, regain some energy, and hopefully smash out not all of these books, but as many as, as we possibly can. And he'll be entertained as well, so it's all good. We're just spending quality time around each other. Awesome, we finished a book. Let's do some rallying of the troops. We'll do it a couple times, because that should help everything but our hygiene. Yeah. And all right, starting another book. And I think I want to add, you know, just because because it's the two of us. We'll add be romantic, but only, only to the club, not to random people, because that is a recipe for disaster. Because I know socializing while, while we write is probably going to make the right Writing take longer, but that's okay. You know, relationships are important. Ooh, and it's New Year's Eve. That means we should also make a resolution. <laughs> write a book. Perfect. So Ash made the resolution to write an entire book by the ah. end of the week. Better get a head start on writing it. See the progress of the resolution by opening the Symology panel. I don't know, something tells me we're gonna make it. And resolution complete. Ash completed her resolution of writing a book. Congrats, it's time to party. Okay, perfect. We have three books so far that we could publish. I think we need to do three more. Yep. Okay, seven out of ten. Oh, we are so close. And, oh, I was going to start another another book, but they're being cute in the hallway. Ooh, nice royalties. I know this title was supposed to be a joke on the Wolf of Wall Street, probably. But we're going to call it the Wolf of Henford on Bagley. Like our parents' memoir, you know? Oh, heck yeah. Go, go, Audrey. You got caterer at McDish. Good for her. You know, I'm I'm proud of Audrey. She's going to do great things. Ah, Drew thinks that we are swell and wants to be best friends, of course. Yeah, we have basically spent the last 24 hours together, you know? I think I think I trust you. But oh my gosh, look at that. We got over our our little sadness about family. But we do want to clean. So let's do that. Maybe a little cooking. Oh my gosh, the ghost of our dead father. When are you going to come visit? I put all my love and effort into raising you. You can at least drop by once in a while and tell your old dad you love him, can't you? Oh, and we still have that old fear of disappointing our parents. You know what, Lou? Why, why don't you come over? But I think probably between this episode and the next, I'm going to do a family cemetery of of some kind. I did it last time with the not so berry and it was kind of nice, you know, just having the different markers for everyone and I'm not sure how I'm going to make it Disney, but we'll we'll figure it out. 
Ah, uh, Felix is calling us. Yeah, we'll talk. Oh, heck yeah. We wrote our book. We'll do a quick little rally of the troops just to get our energy up a little bit. And then just a little cleaning up around the place. You know, we've been so focused on our writing. We haven't really been picking up the plates as they've been setting down. Granted, we've had house guests, which is a little unusual for us. But it was a hard time in our lives. You know, I think I think she needed the distraction. Just, you know writing like three books all while her boyfriend was just kind of like keeping her company and i don't know it was just really sweet it was cute let's recite some some love poetry you know tell him how you really feel with your cup of water and he likes being romance that's adorable but all right both of us are feeling flirty we are feeling a little insecure because we do like him so much Level six charisma, nice. But I think due to spending all the time together, our compatibility has gone up and our sentiments. So he no longer thinks we're like, gosh, what was it? Like self-centered, conceited, whatever. He thought we were full of ourselves. But while we do have more sentiments about him than he does about us, we do have that deep connection. Also, something about him being a secret agent is just like hilarious to me. Because this dude is just like the sweetest little like button up guy. But I guess that's why he's a, a secret agent and not a known agent. But hey, it's New Year's. We'll let them have a little fun, break out the candles, make it romantic. And then we can actually watch the uh the countdown or not because we fell asleep and missed it oops well happy sim new year but since we're feeling flirty we'll go ahead and start a new little book and we're thinking about our mom so sad i'm laughing about this mood lit for a disappointing drink literally all she had was water girl we are not the same but there we go successful new year's it was awesome ash had a wonderful time and got to do everything she planned to do but ooh. Honestly, we can we can just replace the computer. We have more than enough funds, but maybe that's a sign that we should go to bed. First day of spring. Finally, we could be out of the doom and gloom. All right, back on our morning routine, doing some cleaning, getting our needs up, feeling very energized, and then we can resume our writing for the day. And sure, kids radio music. I feel like she just likes music. Oh my gosh, I hear you're not too good at haggling. Why don't you let me take you to the flea market and show you how a pro gets a great price? You know what, girl? Okay, let's do it. Hmm. I feel like there's not much going on. We basically got chairs, couches, and lights, but let's do our little haggling because that's what we came here to do. Nice. We, we actually did well. Let's see. You know what? This one's actually pretty cool. Let's do that. But ooh, we're out here feeling a little paranoid. Where'd our friend go? Oh, she's all the way over here still. Girl, what? But aw, she's also feeling super sad. Help fix bad relationship. Ah, yes, a vampire with a werewolf last name. I feel like we are uniquely qualified to, to encourage her about that. But let's console her and just try to lift her spirits, you know? Ooh, yeah, get out there, Emmy. But all right, perfect. We cheered up Beth. She's feeling a lot better now. Sing about new skill day, okay? But we just became good friends, awesome. But since it is new skill day, we'll practice singing. I think that's a new skill. Yeah, awesome. And what does Disney princess doesn't know how to sing, you know? Nice. Level three singing already. Good for her. But we've literally cleared out this club, so I guess let's let's call that done and head on home. But let's publish our newest book while we're out in the hall. All right, eight out of ten. We'll go ahead and resume our newest book, which is the romance. Oh, it's game night, apparently. Who's here for game night? Just you? Literally? Yep, looks looks like it. This man's literally trying to make us slow down and go outside and touch grass and smell the roses and not be so focused on writing. Like, writing is obviously our aspiration. It's very important to us, but I feel like she, she would burn herself out if we were able to actually burn out on hobbies in the sims oh awesome we finished another book you know why don't you why don't you celebrate about it and new skill day was successful oh no oh i forgot to lock my door to vampires girl you're not gonna like what you get here i'm a dormant wolf it's probably gonna taste like wet dog <laughs> poor drew is like horrified and we're down 
Oh, happy flower day. And oh my gosh, we now have the little bite marks on our neck. Let's just say they're uh, the freckles or love bites or something. What are you doing? Look up conspiracy theories. Oh my gosh, this poor woman, I just realized. She's always been paranoid. She, she do. But for our final book of this portion of the aspiration, a biography, sleeping dogs and glass slippers. But she knew that there were strange things out there. The people were talking about her, thinking about her. And this vampire wanders in. We're gonna be uncomfortable for 20 hours. Hopefully our other moodlets like just keep that down at the very end, but her paranoia has now been validated. Aw, oh, Colum, how are you doing? Yeah, get to know, get to know someone new. I hope they're all doing well. Aw, oh, his kid is, well, a kid now. No one else has had any kids though. But I love when the game does this, like especially with it so early on, it's probably gonna cause like a crazy branch of the family tree. There's our royalties and our bills, which honestly, we're doing amazing. Our weekly bills are like a third of what our like daily residual royalties all come out to. Aw, Emmy's in love. Yeah, girl get you some. And we're feeling a little flirty for having hooked her up, but it's like literally at the tail end of the rest of our little moodlets. Oh my gosh, surprise poppin'. Oh, and the flower bunny. Give flower day gift. You know what, Sage? Sure. We don't really have much else. And Sage is pretty. It smells nice. He liked it. Oh my gosh, the flower bunny just littered all over our floor. Thanks, man. That's great. But oh, he just gave us a rose. That's so cute. I love that. We'll go ahead and put our book in. Oh my gosh, I think I just canceled. I saw them kind of celebrating in the background. I think that they were going to autonomously do something. Well, if you guys did it once, you could do it again. The flower bunny just became good friends with Ash. How? Bunny, where even are you? You're like across the road. You're not even here. But your girl is tired. But we're so close to finishing this little part of our aspiration. We're feeling inspired. Our guy just headed out. So I think we can we can get it done here in a second. And Felix is calling. Yeah. Woo. There we go. Published our book. Well, we finished our book. Now we have to publish it. Sleeping dogs and glass slippers. We got more more flowers. And I think at least now complete three bestsellers and have earned 25,000 in royalties by publishing books. I think we can get that here soon. Bestsellers. I don't know if I've done a bestseller before, but we will find out. Man, all these people every day, every night. So many just passing away and more. Oh my gosh, children getting adopted, more people passing away. We're definitely at that point in the new save file where all of the original like adult and young adult Sims who were all like the same age are all just passing away now. And yes, we could like romantic music, more children getting adopted. Oof. You know, at least our mom had us young, so we were already an adult by the time that she passed away. And here's our cleaning for the day because our toilet had broken. But I think the best way to try to get some best sellers is to make sure we're inspired. And honestly, the best way to do that is just going to be to get an inspired potion. Ooh, Colum, what's up? Aw, oh, you had a blast. Happy for you. And oh, we're thinking about our family. Continuing to think about family. I think you need to think about continuing the family. Ooh, nice. More royalties. Oh, yeah. We are, I was going to say, we probably have one more day until we are going to take care of that part of the aspiration. But um, the flower bunny wants to be best friends. This feels very Disney princess. So sure, I don't know who you are under that mask. And frankly, I, I don't want to know. I'm imagining you are an actual just magical bunny that can generate flora. So please do not rob me of that belief. But you could go home. Oh, Felix is inviting us out. You know what? Yes. Let's just have some twin time. So we're here to participate in a contest, either the hackathon or ultimate gaming test. We probably have a better chance with just the regular gaming, but OK, techie lifestyle, probably just from the writing. Not the lifestyle I expected from Ash, but I will take it. OK, we did not pass. We got 30 when the goal was 70. But you know, at least we could say we tried. And that's all you could really, really ask for sometimes. But oh my gosh, Drew is just here. Like, I did not invite him here. He just showed up here. So honestly, I'm going to use this as an opportunity. And I'm going to imagine that Felix just invited us out here because he knew that Drew was going to propose and we're going to say yes. Yay! Cute. But let's plan it right away. Uh, Friday is love day too. 
that's perfect. Let's add a wedding event. I may try to get like all the different siblings to be the different roles, but we'll see. But yay, it's all planned. All right, now where's our brother? There you are. Let's actually travel so I can get this done super quick. All right, Felix, Sim of Honor, Child, Ring Bearer. Emmy, you can be Flower Pal because you have the like the nature botanist aspiration thing. And then Audrey will have you be the officiant because why not? But yay, so far everyone is saying yes. <gasps> Emmy said no. Emmy, let's try this again. You're you're in a better mood. Let's see what you say. Yay, that's the reaction we were going for. So, okay, let's see. Them of Honor, Felix, Officiant, Audrey, Flower Pal, Emmy, Ring Bearer, Child. And perfect. And then I think the day of, we will get an actual wedding cake. Yeah. So, okay. Now the only thing we have to do between now and Friday is finish our aspiration. And then, you know, get started on the next generation. And yes, Audrey, you, you should have heard that we got engaged. We, we literally just told you and invited you to be a part of the wedding. Okay, our inspiration just wore off. I'm gonna invite Drew over as part of the club, and then we will rally the troops and set the vibe to inspired, because I think the last time I did this aspiration, you had to be inspired like the entire time you were writing in order to get the best seller. So we're going to have to watch it very closely to make sure we don't fall out of the inspiration. All right. Oh, what quality is it? Oh, it's just excellent. <sighs> That's not what I want. Let's try this again because we already have creative visionary. So that should help us as much as possible. Well, maybe let's get our skills all the way up or needs. We'll get our needs all the way up. Take a thoughtful shower, you know, get that additional inspiration that we're pretty maxed out here. If this doesn't foster a bestseller, I don't know what will. Oh, okay, it worked. I was so worried because right at the very end, we changed from inspired to confident because I think that Drew had to go to, to work and now she's back at conspiracy theories. Okay, girl, 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 girl. Let's get you inspired again. Maybe get a few more inspired potions, you know, maybe a moodlet solver or two. Okay, the shower was not enough to break down our confidence. There we go. Next book, The Missing Slipper. Ooh, royalties. Nice. So this one's all taken care of, which means I think this is the last, the last step. Yeah, that's the last one. Oh, it may actually take us all the way to Friday. This is a very important question, Audrey. Is water wet? I hate this question because technically, no, water makes things wet. But through the human experience and perception, yes, it is. No, that's wrong. I don't even know who you are anymore. It's a very classic, like, sisters interaction, honestly. All right, we're focused, which is bad in this case. So let's get inspired again. I think it's because she's probably listening to focus music. Maybe we changed to classical and let's get back at it. And we unlocked the indoorsy lifestyle. Yeah, that was that was bound to happen, honestly. Ooh, computers busted. That is very sad, honestly. <laughs> Gone too soon from the techie lifestyle. Yeah. Oh man, we're feeling confident again. Well, let's do a little bit of picking up. And honestly, since Drew just came over, now we could just use him to get our, our needs up and to become inspired. And then we should just have a little more left on, on this novel. Heck yeah. Bestseller number two. She's feeling pretty good about it, you know? Maybe now let's start a children's book. I'm going to call it Kiss Every Frog You See. And yes, we like classical music. But yeah, probably bad life advice in terms of like, you know, possible parasites. But perfect advice if you want to become a Disney princess. Aw, sentiment gained. You're so fun to be around. I really enjoy spending time with you and I hope you feel the same way about me too. Yeah, I hope so because we're kind of forcing him to stay here. You know what? Perfect. I was going to say, you know, he's he's our muse. We kind of just have him around all the time and it looks like he does feel the same way. Ooh, and I don't want all the furniture, so let's sell that. That'll probably be even more money. Not that we really need it. Oh, oh yeah. You know what? I think we're pretty set. But girl, you're now focused. That is not what we need. Uh, but by him moving in, he he ended the club gathering. Okay, you know what? That's fine. Honestly, let's celebrate. Let's celebrate the moving in 
into the household, maybe getting started on the next generation. And then honestly, I am going to give Drew a little bit of a makeover. Okay, here he is. I didn't change any of the genetics. I just adjusted his hair texture and I love the idea of him like, yeah, he's a secret agent. He's a party animal, which is just hilarious. Um, but he's a very like neat and pristine and like buttoned up, well-to-do looking guy. And something about that is just charming, you know? But I actually am going to do something that's a little controversial. I am removing a lot of our money. One, because I, I like the challenge, you know? And we get plenty of money through our royalties he has a job and i think technically for the next generation we have to be like not necessarily struggling but it says the family hasn't really accomplished much but that's at least just from gen 3's perspective so with that i'm also going to quit the spotlight because i could see this as like the family actually is accomplished but maybe it's just not talked about or or known about necessarily like all we see is that our mother or in this case us, you know, we, we appear to be a little bit of a shut-in and we just write our stories all day. You know, we write our stories, we need to enjoy our soaps. And so those accomplishments are just not really seen or recognized or acknowledged because this is something that she's just wanted to do, but she doesn't want to be like famous for it. She just wants to be happy. But we took a nice thoughtful shower. We're feeling inspired. Drew's getting ready for work in an hour. But you know, being a secret agent, it's a very dangerous lifestyle to be living, which oddly enough is good, considering he will have to unfortunately perish before the next generation becomes an adult. So thanks, game. The story's writing itself. Ooh, royalty reports. Nice. Our needs are starting to go downhill, and we also feel like everything's dirty. So let's take care of our cleaning requirement. Very good. And a moodlet solver, honestly. And an inspired potion, because for some reason we are flirty. Like, girl, calm down. And let's keep writing your kissing frog book. Hopefully that's not what made you feel romantic. It's kind of weird. Oh, we finished it, but I do not think it's a bestseller. Dang it. Dang it, frogs. You're just excellent. Next book is uh, Paranoid Proverbs. This is a poetry book, but I was trying to find there was trash in here that she did not like. So let's clean that up real quick and then get back at it. Hey, welcome home, honey. Gonna get some coffee. Good for you. Ooh, take care of yourself too. I know you don't dislike it. You're just tired and hangry and actually we're feeling happy now so let's start this gathering and we'll just we'll just rally we'll just rally you okay like you do a great sweetie and your secret agent job but let's see i want to check what his skills are like fitness programming mischief logic and then we have cooking painting okay i just want to find something that he can also be inspired to do you know like we do have an extra laptop from our freelance maybe he could use that yeah. Oh, uh, yes. Aspiration completed. Trait earned. Poetic. We can write stories that truly bring Sims to life. So I think that's the book of life. So let's let's do that later. But for now, you're still feeling flirty. And let's celebrate, you know? Like, I just completed my life's aspiration. We're getting married tomorrow. Everything is amazing and we're happy. And now we want to take that next step. All right, and today is love day. We're making breakfast. Drew, we're going to make sure you take a day off of work. It's a very, very big day. Okay, so I'm looking at Ash, and I think one of those last attempts at a baby actually took, because we also now have second trimester in four hours, which will actually be the wedding, but I think, I think the dress is big enough that we're not going to be able to tell. That's like super poofy. But okay, took a nice little shower, and then let's get our cake. But here we go, bright and early, purchase a cake. And what looks the most Cinderella-y? I mean, I guess the round white seems pretty classic and formal looking. Here we go. Select as cake for wedding. Ash's cake has been saved and will be available for her wedding. Okay. And there it is. Perfect. I doubt the wedding will be perfect because sim weddings never are, but I hope it's at least cute, you know? Oh my gosh. What is everyone wearing? Felix, you are the sim of honor, sir. What are you wearing? And Audrey, what are you wearing? Literally a Powerpuff Girls hoodie. I honestly should have expected something like this. It feels like it's been forever since Ash has been romantic with her partner. That is incorrect. 
Like, Sims, I just, I don't, I don't understand. But let's have everyone take their seats. Sim of Otter, you go down. You know what, Emmy, you can wear your regular formal because that's better than the whatever was going on with that Powerpuff Girls. But here she comes. But okay, the bump is a little more obvious than I thought. But you know, it's okay. They're spending the rest of their lives together. Like, are y'all just gonna keep smiling at each other? Or are you gonna... Here we go. Oh, he gets a diamond too. Very nice. And they got the matching rings. Okay. We're feeling a little paranoid. Poor girl. Oh, and he gets the dip. Woo! We love to see it. But okay, exchange vows, spousal kiss, done. All right, so let's maybe do the cake wherever it is. And we're still feeling paranoid, poor girl. Like it's right there, but also flirty spouse from jealousy. Oh my gosh, we're feeling deeply wounded. What even happened? Like we literally, we literally just got married. Okay, at least it's not Audrey. I was, I was about to get really worried. Oh, I think it was Audrey. Oh no. Oh gosh. Okay, um, Sims, I really hate it when you do this. Like, even the game was like, no, I give up. But I just wonder with, like, everything going on, like, he's feeling flirty, we're all here, was, like, something, like, misconstrued. Like, I don't want to gaslight us because we are paranoid, but at the same time, like, I'm so confused because he's, like, so enamored and just, Sims, why you gotta do me like that, okay? Honest question, why you gotta do me like that? Like, can we just enjoy this moment, please, Sims? Like, why can't we just be happy? I think maybe we actually talk with our partner and say, hey, I'm feeling a little paranoid. I thought I saw something. Aw, oh, man, I didn't realize these pumpkins would spoil. I just want cute, cute pumpkin decor, okay? But everything's breaking and getting messy and we have to clean it and throw it away. And Emmy wants to be best friends. Yes, of course. There it is. What are they talking about? Starting to feel paranoid again. Bro, you gotta wake up and fix whatever this is. Legitimately though, I've checked every single one of these menus and I don't know where the option is to actually talk with our partner about this. Like maybe this is just a fear and paranoia that we have for the rest of this challenge. Like, that's really sad. And I don't want that to be the case, but the game isn't really giving me a choice. Meanwhile, we have question marks until we give birth. Okay, set up the little baby's room. So that's all done and ready. I did shrink down our room a little bit to make it a little bit bigger because kids are going to need space. Oh, there it is. Finally, we're feeling confident. So hopefully this goes well. But talk about relationship fears. He's like, okay, breathe in. It's fine. We're good. She put herself forward and opened a line of communication, but the problems aren't over. Maybe another day of communicating her worries will finally help overcome her fears. Oh, no, it's so sad. Like, maybe let's go sleep it off. Oh, Morpheus, baby boy. Yes, go for it. I like how we responded to that call in our sleep. Oh, gosh. Okay, it's happening. We're in labor. We're talking to family on the phone. Let's go have the baby at the hospital. Come on, let's go. Oh man, now the hospital's populated by ghosts. Oh, I hope our doctor's not a ghost. Ah, it spoke too soon. Oh my god. Okay, it's a boy. So the boy will not be our heir because I am doing a matriarchy. I will name him Orin. Orin Grimm. And okay, only one baby. So I'm thinking we'll have to try for another. I'm considering a science baby, but that's also like a 50-50. Like we don't know. But okay, we just got back. We're going to talk over our relationship fears again. And it looks like that one worked. So successfully confronting, it's sure, we like pranks, but successfully confronting a fear, breathing a sigh of relief, Ash has overcome her fear. It feels like nothing can bring her down. So with that, Let's roll the dice and let's try to have a science baby. Maybe we tell him, you know, we're a twin. It's really important to us that, that our baby has a sibling. Ooh, we rolled the dice and we got a girl. And for our Tiana generation, I'm going to name her Willow. So Willow Grimm. So Willow and Orin. Orin and Willow. Look at them. So cute. Now we are immediately going to age these babies up into infants. 
because next time the story technically begins when Tiana is a young adult and I don't want to skip everything. So we'll do a little, you know, little speed through montage of the early childhood, see some of the big milestones. Aw, cute wiggly baby. But okay, let's do our final little roundup just to make sure we completed all the rules. So the first one said we had to complete both the childhood and adult aspirations, both of which we did. We must have the neat and foodie traits, and we do. We cleaned the house every day and cooked every meal. We met our spouse at a party or event, and in this case, the Starlight Accolades, but we did not marry them until our mother passed away, and we have not had more than three children. So that is everything. And oh my gosh, I just gave both babies quick little makeovers and Willow has the occult plum bob. So that's definitely going to make things interesting this next generation. But yeah, if you enjoyed this one, please let me know in the comments and be sure to subscribe if you want to see what happens next. But with that, thank you guys so much for watching as always, and I will see you next time. Bye.